Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. I remember finding out about this game about 15 years ago, and I came across the Sega Master System at a friend's house, and he had Sonic the Hedgehog. I figured it was the same as the Sega Genesis version, but there are some major differences. Sure, it's a platform where it's 2D side-scrolling and so on, but it's not the exact same game as the 16-bit Sega Genesis version. Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System was developed by Ancient Company and published by Sega. It was released on the Sega Master System in 1991. The story has you going after Dr. Ivo Robotnik, kind of like 95% of your Sonic games in the past, or in the future. You will travel through six zones with three levels in each, and a boss battle at the third level. As you can see, some of the levels are entirely new, and there's even an overworld map, which you really didn't see much of in Sonic the Hedgehog games. Yeah, you've seen it in Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, but not Sonic the Hedgehog. Not only that, another difference compared to the Sega Genesis version, there are levels that scroll automatically. That's also something you've seen in Super Mario Bros. 3, and even other games. As for enemies in the game, there's a lot of them that are the same. Robot crabs, bees, and so on. Plus there are hazards like endless pits and spikes. Now there's another difference in this game compared to the 16-bit Sonic the Hedgehog. If you hit an enemy, spikes, or whatever, you can't gather the coins back. You will lose them and they stay lost. Which I don't really care for, but I get why it's there. It will add a little bit to the difficulty as well. Which if you're horrible at these games, you're not going to do very well. The graphics for Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System are not bad at all. Now granted there are limitations compared to the Sega Genesis version, but the character and enemy sprites look great, the level designs are nice and quite big, sadly there is no vertical loops and the level design is flatter compared to the Sega Genesis version, but there is a larger focus on exploration. The game is colorful and there is some glitching here and there, just a little bit, along with some flickering, but I can't complain too much about that. The music this time around, it's enjoyable, but more enjoyable on its own right. I mean, it sounds good for an 8-bit console game, but I wouldn't say it's better than some other games that are on the Sega Master System or even other 8-bit consoles like the NES. As for the sound effects, they're not bad at all, just not mind-blowing or iconic like the Sega Genesis version. The controls are alright. Moving around and jumping is easy to do, but at times I feel that they're a little bit slow at responding, especially with the jumping. But other than that, they do work, the game is very much playable, so really I can't complain too much. Overall, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System is enjoyable. I like it a lot. I don't think it's as good as the Sega Genesis version, but there are some limitations that kind of persuade that opinion. But at the end of the day, I still like the game. The gameplay is great. I like how there are some changes here and there. The graphics are really not bad. There's a few minor flaws here and there. The music is good. The sound effects are nice, and while the controls are a little slow at responding, like I said, the game is very much playable, and I can't complain too much. If you want to pick the game up for yourself, well, it's 94% rare. But it can be found on the Nintendo 3DS, so you can pick it up there. But if you want the Sega Master System version, that's going to cost you a bit. eBay has copies for $107.99, $31.20, $54.33, $29.99, .99, and prices in between. Really, that's not bad for a game that is 94% rare, but it might be a bit tough to find. As for sequels, there is a direct sequel titled Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and then there was Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos, and of course a shitload of other Sonic games, which I plan to review at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this review of Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System. Thanks for watching.